You know, I, I think as we looked at our quality data, when the patient was in front of us, our providers generally, or not generally, but almost all the time, were doing the right, the right thing for the patient. Uh -huh. But when we looked at our overall quality scores, it wasn't the patient that was in front of us that was hurting us. It was the patient that wasn't in front of us that was hurting us the most. And we needed an ability to draw them in, to understand where they were at in their health care, and to interact with them in a more effective manner. You know, by mining our data, uh, being on an EMR for almost a, at that point, almost a decade, and now over a decade since we've launched Vitel, to be able to look at that data, to be able to draw out who, who needs us the most, uh, specifically those that we know that need us, that haven't interacted with us, that have a chronic disease problem, uh, that was probably the biggest benefit for Vitel, uh, for Prevea. It was bringing in the patients that uh, we wanted to help the most but weren't coming in on their own. You know, Fitel gave us an opportunity to mine the data that we had locked away in our EMR for almost a decade and now over a decade. Uh, not only mine it and let us know who needed us most, but go out there and bring them into the clinic. Interact with them in a way that, uh, from a manual standpoint, would have been close to impossible. In an automated manner, uh, really created a, a new patient flow for us. Uh, more importantly, a patient flow that was needed. Well, these are patients that were non-compliant. And really, you know, the ultimate definition of non-compliancy isn't taking your, isn't, isn't not taking your medications or not following your doctor orders, but actually not getting seen. You think about a diabetic that's gone over a year without a checkup, that's way too long by any standard, uh, no matter how well controlled your diabetes uh, is. And to be able to draw that patient back into the uh, organization, to interact with the physician, to see truly where their needs are. Um, the ultimate management of chronic disease is interacting with the patient. And if you can't interact with the patient, uh, you're never gonna make a difference in their disease. So getting a population back into our clinics, back into in front of our physicians and our nurse practitioners and our care managers within the medical homes, drawing them back in when they've been lost basically to the system um, was a huge benefit that Fitel offered us. The best part about Fitel as a company is its ability to morph with its client uh, to change and meet our needs. Initially when we partnered with Fitel as its first Epic customer, it was really about going into our data in finding out which patients needed us most, bringing in that non-compliant patient back into the clinic. It's gone so much farther. They were already accessing our data. Now we get to see that data ourselves through their new products, through Insight and Coordinate. Not only do we get to essentially work with our own data in a, in a way that makes sense that the EMR couldn't do for us, but then pick away at that data and find out who needs us more and then draw that patient population in. That advancement of Fitel by partnering with its customers has been fantastic and, and truly innovative. You, you know, for some organizations that are new to an electronic medical record and then actually new to looking at their data, it can be an issue. We've been on an electronic medical record since 2002. Uh, did we have data issues in the beginning? Yes. But the neat thing about partnering with Fitel is our ability, once they've drawn our own data, is to do a validation process. That validation process is huge. It taught us more about ourselves than we knew about where we were putting the data. Is it in the right spot? Is it in the wrong spot? Are we drawing it out carefully and drawing it out in the right manner? Fitel exposed things about how we were using our EMR that we have never wouldn't have known unless we'd have engaged them. And that was a, a very good, uh, I'd say beneficial side effect of working with the company. That validation process taught us uh, a lot more about our data than we would have known just by using the standard EMR uh, you know, registries. I think the, the whole concept of the EMR is fantastic for the 1990s and the 2000s, but really looking at the decades to come for, it's not just about the patient in front of you. The EMR was designed to be a transactional product. It's designed to really benefit the patient when they're in front of you. It's, it's fantastic, and if the patient's in front of you and they've got a history with you, you can look up that history, and you can do great things for that patient that we couldn't do in the past with a paper chart. But the progression of an EMR isn't completely about the patient that's in front of you. It's the patient that's not in front of you. That entire population, whether it's a discrete population of an employer, of a city, or of a country, to be able to look at a population that the EMR wasn't able to do for us. It wasn't designed to do that for us initially. And that's why we've needed to find companies like Vitel that could take that data and look beyond the person or the patient or the family that was sitting in front of us, but the ones that weren't sitting in front of us. Probably the biggest benefit going forward of using any kind of product such as Vitel to look at a population's data is for those of us that are taking risk. Those of us that understand a patient population to the point of saying, if we can spend less on that patient every year, we'll benefit. So it's not just a fee-for-service environment anymore, but a risk-based environment for us. 
And to be successful in a risk-based environment, you need data, and you need data that's actionable, and Fitel gives that to us. We weren't able to do that back in the 80s and 90s when HMOs that were doctor-sponsored failed. And the number one reason that HMOs failed in the past where doctors were involved or incapitated in environments is because they didn't have the data. They didn't know what was going on with the patients that were in front of them. They knew what was going on with the patient that was in front of them, but not the entire population. If you're going to take risk, you need to know that population's data. And products like Fitel help you do that. You know, it really is about organizations that are about to take risk or physician groups that are going to take risk or hospital groups that are going to take risk when it comes to a patient population. You have two options. Spend a little bit of money now, understand your data, and make sure that data is actionable. Or spend a lot of money later because you didn't know what was going on with that overall population and you get burned in the end. So a small investment in a product like Fitel to understand your data and to act upon it rather than have a surprise patient population or a set of patients cost you more money down the stream, whether it's two years, five years, or 10 years. A little bit of money now versus a lot of it of money later.